It's showtime. BS and Beer Media in association with S T W F T V, the podcasting network. We present to you the Frenemies Fantasy Football Podcast. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Dale. Welcome in another week. Fantasy football with me today. I've got Kyle and I've got Tim. What's up, y'all? What's up? I'm so, so happy to be here, fellas. So oh, happy. Kyle. Uh, Kyle is so man. happy. Oh, my God. I've been God. waiting all of two days. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's on the win streak right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. hot. Gotta get them while they're hot. <laughs> He's excited. You got, yeah. you got any any yeah. fan duel action going on right now that you also uh, excited about? None of that. No, no, no. I'm I'm a DraftKings guy, anyways. Yeah, way. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all the same, you know. Oh yeah. Daily that extra money. <laughs> Daily fantasy. All right. Well, what 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 were the bets here, Kyle? Let's uh. Let's get into some bets before we we start talking about uh, drinks because that's the only drink I've got. Oh, man. I, no, I got here. that's all you I, got. Hey, listen, when y'all get off of here, y'all gotta go and do what you want to do. What I gotta go and uh, edit down this this podcast, mm-hmm. post it, put it in audio form, mm-hmm. post an audio. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta do work I, after. I uh, so I have yet to hear a reason why you can't drink. I got to do work after this. That's why. <laughs> I, I still feel like you should drink. Uh, I will. I, yeah. I, I, will I will drink the shot. <laughs> one, one shot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's all you got. That's 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 what I lost too. I'm, and it's a bet you made for me, anyways. Let's let's be real. I like here. you. I like doing things like that. <laughs> I just I just went along with it. You know, that's fine. I, I I will pay up for sure, though. Is that's like a hold my beer moment? Really? You hold my beer is? while I do this stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, you, know, you you but you've got the stupid thing, and then you got a shot for it. Totally yeah. opposite. Yeah, I mean, I guess the stupid thing is uh, podcasting. You know, <laughs> <laughs> doing all this for the podcast. Okay. <laughs> so if me if me taking a shot will. Make one more person subscribe to our YouTube, which has been getting more subscriptions each That's and every right. day. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, um, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I, I will gladly take a shot if if that's that's what helps the the subscriptions go up. You know, let's do it. <laughs> well, that, that's good because I got I got one for both of y'all. Okay, okay. so last last week we had Minnesota defense that I was I was saying. Man against oh, Chicago, God. that divisional rivalry. Like it's it's Justin Fields. I know this, but like, come on, man. Minnesota's played well when they haven't played like these standout offenses, and it absolute they absolutely dominated the game, crushed it, they killed it. Tim said ten points in standard scoring. Um, let me, let me get the stats for you right here. Um, let's see, thirteen <laughs> points allowed. They had five sacks, two picks, a fumble recovery, and they got in the end zone. 22 point standard scoring. Thank you very much, Tim. Yeah. If you would do the honors, I would love love to have you take the shot. All right, I, look, look. I got. I, got I, I bought. I bought this. I'm first time trying it right now. All right, Bird Dog, candy cane flavored whiskey. Mm-hmm. All right, look. I got it. I popped it open right here on the show. I, well, I took the show off earlier. You know. <laughs> All right, we got the Dave and Buster's. You know, it's party time at, at Tim's house. Not like Dale's house. He's boring, you know. <laughs> so pouring, pouring my shot right here on, on the show. I've never had this, so I'm, I'm going to be su- equally surprised as you guys. No, it, it, it sounds fantastic. So. Oh, fucking delicious, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's like Santa Claus's pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Got you, bro. That was good. Okay. That was good. Right. I deserve it, Kyle. Well, we're going to turn it on to Dale. So uh, let's talk about Dalton Schultz. This, yeah. This fantasy pros writer. He's getting paid to talk about this. And he went on to say, 
we don't start tight ends against the Saints. Uh, you don't stream Dalton Schultz. I don't care how hot he is. I don't care about any of this. We don't start tight ends against the Saints. That's what he said. So, I mean, like, if, if anything, that's a giant red flag to me. Um, mm -hmm. It's like that that forbidden fruit, if you will. Mm -hmm. I saw that. I immediately knew Dalton Schultz is hot. He's getting like six, seven targets a game. And here we are, four of seven targets, 61 yards, and he did find the end zone. The very first person to do it in the game, I called in and I got you, Dale. So uh -huh. go, if you would, please. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Okay. I chilled some Maker's Mark uh, All right. in the in the freezer here, and so that's, that's what we're going with. So bottoms up. Cheers. I, mean, I, I love it. Love it. I, hey, I know how you feel it because I love it when I'm in your spot, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly it's been you guys, okay? This is a nice this is a nice change of pace for our team, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Ooh, it's warm in here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got hot too. You're right, dude. <laughs> uh, this candy, this candy cane whiskey, though, I might just like pour my own damn shot. All right, screw the show. I'm not working afterward. <laughs> I'm, I'm, with you. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for y'all. Mm. Yeah. You know, I almost uh, I was at the liquor store buying that earlier, and um, and uh, I saw that Sky Vodka there. Yeah, I, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Do you got it? Yeah. Oh, it okay. is it. That's it. I do it. I, I got I one. I got one I'm, I'm still in dad mode. I'm still drinking all my leftovers. So I have Sky Vodka. All right. I have a, a Miller Lite. All right. Um, and then I have a Seagram's Escape. Ooh. So literally, this is just straight leftovers, man. I'm just digging the bottom of the barrel at this point. I'm going to yeah. start drinking wine next show. Like, I'm yeah. going to get wine. Box wine. Get the whole <laughs> box wine. About it. Yeah, I know. Man. I should just yeah. get a box, man. Yeah. yeah hey, man. Look, if you get a box wine, you're required to pull out the bladder, as I call it. And when, and when you pour it, when you pick it up over your head and squeeze it, you got to get your wife to come and slap the bladder. You got to slap the bag <laughs> while you're drinking it. Slap it. I'm not sure what that meant. <laughs> All right. Hey, they, I made it up in the army a long time ago. We just, me and my boys just rolled with it. So yeah. it's stupid games you play. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get into the show. Um, I guess well we could first start off with some uh oops I keep hitting the wrong stuff man tell me damn intern damn yeah. intern uh, every time man, damn yeah. intern this is week seven isn't it <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's such a sly cut I love it <laughs> it, it is it, yeah it is <laughs> all right <laughs> There we go. Yeah. So let's start off with the news. And we've got multiple injuries, as usual. Mm -hmm. David Montgomery, ribs. Mm. Justin Fields, thumb. Mm. Anthony Richardson, he's going to get season ending surgery. That's your boy. Yeah. Uh, Kyron Williams, ankle. Um, Tannehill ankle and well, some other guys were coming back, but th those are the, those are the bad ones, right? Yeah. So of these, the, the Montgomery thing, okay. how does this, does it really going to benefit, uh, Gibbs here? Because Montgomery was running a lot between the tackles and to think they're going to just give that work to a smaller back. I don't I don't really know if that's gonna happen. Um, do you think we're gonna see a split between him and, and Reynolds, uh Tim? I know you, you picked up Reynolds in one of the leagues I'm in with you. Did I? I yeah. I didn't think that I didn't think I didn't have time to look all day mm -hmm. and I didn't think that uh that went through. Or was that I picked up Reynolds last week in some one of the leagues before the injury. Okay, I just I just remember Tim picking up Reynolds because yeah, that's cool. When Tim picks somebody so, up, I hate it. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm yeah. telling you, I really do. Yeah, he's not he's not a very good wingman. 
He's good. Dale's not the good wingman over there. Tim's picking up somebody and Dale's hating on him. Uh, so, but, uh, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm go well, Craig Reynolds was like the most available dude that you could grab up. And, um, and so where, where he lands, I'm, I'm imagining that he's going to be useful for that team because I, uh, am desperate and need somebody because I've had, I've had a hundred injuries on both, like both of my top teams. So, um, you know, uh, I'm not shooting for the moon with Craig Reynolds. Um, but uh, but I'm definitely definitely hoping for about 10, 10 carries, maybe fifteen if I'm lucky. Okay, all right. You know, splitting time roughly with Gibbs because Gibbs hasn't he hasn't shown what he's what he's capable of yet. I think he's still learning. Well, yeah. I, I don't I don't think they're using him in in the correct manner yet. I think mm-hmm. you know we, we need to be getting him outside, um, getting him in screen game, getting him in some routes. Mm-hmm. Let them create, you know, mismatches. That's what? that's what he need to be doing. Why you got a talk show? You need a you need a coach. You know, um, I only do it you know on the weekends. You know, oh, okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. You know, you're, you're a modest guy, modest dude. Um, so. with Justin Fields with the thumb injury, <clears throat> I'm hearing more and more rumors that they're looking to trade him. And specifically really? getting traded to the Patriots was the last rumor I heard. Kyle, did, did you hear that rumor? I didn't. I, I didn't hear that, but I like it. Uh-huh. I'm highly interested in that. I, and I would like to keep a close eye. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm the last yeah. dude with the Bears knowledge. <laughs> 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 All right. It's, I mean, I'm the last dude to care about the Bears, man. <laughs> you know? Gosh, okay. Dale's like, did you know? You know, like, I, yeah. I just, you know, I, I just happened to be on the internet and I saw it. And, you know, mm-hmm. interesting rumor. What was that? The reading rainbow. The more you know, was that reading rainbow? No, oh, that's that was, that's yeah. that's like after uh, yes, yes. Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah, and yeah, the after you, the more you know, or whatever. Yeah, the more you know. <laughs> Dale's like, I know something Tim doesn't know. You know, those are like public <laughs> service. Announcements like that, that companies were required to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's 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 pretty remarkable. What, what happened to our government? Government sucks. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, do you remember those? No more, man. Do you remember those, Kyle? Uh-huh. The PSAs, like public service annou- announcements. You know, they come on and like tell you how to like fix a nosebleed or some crap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I don't that one specifically. It, it it used to be law, man. Like you can't just you can't just feed kids junk and you know just just <laughs> cartoons all day. You got to teach them a lesson. And so at the end of like GI Joe, there was always a lesson to be learned. You yeah. Know? <laughs> and and He Man too, Skeletor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Skeletor. He exactly. always taught us lessons. He's a bad guy, but he was being nice to us after. Yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I had a lesson to be learned. There you go. Oh my gosh. Look, dude. All right. I done poured myself another shot of this stupid candy cane flavored oh, yeah, whiskey, yeah. bro. All so right. Tim, Timmy's tips are gonna be uh gonna be a ball. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. We're gonna have yeah. Timmy's tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the problem. Cause look, we got the mix tonight because I got the twisted teas too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah, you you living dangerously right now. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was good. Um, <laughs> you know the rookie Anthony Richardson. I, I kind of expected that. Um, maybe he'll come back and be smarter, not try to run people over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kyra Williams. This one, this one hurt me because all right, don't get me wrong. I don't even own this team anymore. It, it was a, a little trash league I, I had, but I had mm-hmm. him and I held on to him. Yeah. And at the beginning of the year. I thought I'm about to just I'm about to just can him because they, they drafted Zach Evans. You know, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm done. You know, I was ready to cut bait. And now this dude's showing up. Uh-huh. And you know, because I didn't call that or I called it incorrectly, I'm you know, messed up about it. So you're hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Those those the ones that get away from you, you know? Yeah. I got a couple <laughs> of them in my life. They're usually, they're usually redheads. 
Yeah, yeah. Damn redheads, man. Yeah, oh, damn yeah. all them. You know, that's a secret <laughs> sauce. You know, candy cane whiskey and redheads. <laughs> Santa's pockets. <laughs> uh, well, Tannehill going down, maybe that's an upgrade for them. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> and, no. it's not, nothing been happening in Tennessee, bro. Like, mm. we got to try something different. Do something different. What y'all been doing ain't working. Yeah. They were <laughs> extremely efficient in the past, man. Yeah. Two year, like two years ago, they were the most efficient offense. Right. And um, I think we talked about it this weekend, man. It seems like Henry's Henry's just not running as well. The offensive yep. line changed or something. You know, yep. Craig, Craig's offensive line, man. We should ask him yeah. those kind of questions. But uh, yep. but it seems it seems like with uh, Henry fading, and I'm just gonna say Henry's on the bat out, you know, yep. and um, with Henry fading, I think Tennessee's, you know, they're just not able to play the same game. Yeah, yeah that's that's about what, it, man. How you feel, Kyle? What about Henry? I feel like Tennessee's always been that that defensive team that's like they <laughs> want to keep themselves in games and then mm-hmm. you know take their shots when they can. Right. I feel like Tannehill's that dude that can you know manage a game he's still that veteran guy who can like you know take one of those teams who's just playing you know playing good defense they're playing mm-hmm. to win games they're not necessarily playing to score a bunch of points uh i i like Tannehill and and i still felt like he was their guy i feel mm-hmm. like malik willis is just so not i, I don't think he's ready like he's like yeah. a mile away same with uh will levis but then again have we seen him in any game action like other than preseason, yes, he looked uh, terrible in preseason. That's yeah, I mean, he, me. he, <laughs> yeah. he, had so, hot, he had a hot chick at the draft, though, didn't he? Yes, he did. He did. There you go. So. Right, winning, winning that life. <laughs> Good for you, sir. <laughs> go ahead. I do. I agree with everything you said, though, Kyle. <laughs> but look, that that team was always able to support at least like one receiver, maybe a little tight end action. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And now you've got nothing. Burks mm-hmm. is a joke. You know, that, you drafted Burks. It's a uh, joke. That's hurt my, that hurts my feelings when I you know. say that. They'll stop I know. that. I know it does. <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas, that's a Razorback, man. I didn't right. look. He was a Razorback the whole time. I didn't hear nothing about asthma until like yeah. he got to Tennessee. Right. Like, well, he's got asthma. Right. This is like uh-huh. what six hours yeah. east. Yeah, I'm, I'm Little Rock, bro. Come on, <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, this is what's killing me right now. Okay, that stupid candy cane stuff stays in your mouth, and you want to drink more. Mm. <laughs> okay, because it's like you know you you yeah, it stays in your mouth. And you're like that. That's, that's pretty good. That's that's, that's what she said. Oh, no. whoa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's the horn, Dale. Hit the horn. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay. So, some good news. McCole Harmon actually got traded back to Kansas City. This, how interesting is that? Yeah, they feel they, I, I think they feel probably feel like they got this big, huge need at a uh, wide receiver right now. There's a hole they're trying to fill, of course. Well, all the receivers are the same thing. Man, you got a whole bunch of speed guys. Get something different. Jesus, man. Get somebody <laughs> tall. Anybody tall, like taller than 6'1, 6'2. Right? You got a whole bunch of guys. You got a speed guy that you just got rid of. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, what are you doing? Do you, so they still have to pay his salary. It's like it was $4 million one year, right? I don't know it, about that part. Uh, it was it was four million one year, so I think they still have to pay his like rest of season salary. Okay. So my question is, would it have been cheaper to keep her, to keep him, <laughs> and and you know just pay him that four million? That kind right. of seems a little bit low to me. Right. Is that you know? Isn't that seem kind of low? <laughs> like and yeah. uh, and then not give up the fifth round pick. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you're right. You're right. It, it would have just been cheaper to just we work a deal with him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kyle doesn't uh, know that yet because he, he has not had a divorce. 
Yeah, there you go, Kyle. Then <laughs> <laughs> get married and then divorce. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just no, don't I'm even do that. Backwards. I'm having the kids first, and then the yeah. marriage comes after. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't. We didn't ever. We didn't ever imply that. But I'm just saying, you know, you know. <laughs> um, Aaron Jones coming back from the am- hamstring injury that he's been mm-hmm. out for a while. So mm-hmm. we'll see if he can stay healthy. Um, Green Bay definitely needs him. Um, mm-hmm. I saw that they also got back uh, Christian Watson. He's mm-hmm. uh, practicing fully. So um, Green Bay's offense going to be back to full power. What, what you think, Tim? You excited about this? What do yeah, you think, man. Tim? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for something. Yeah. But, but supposedly – we got uh, reached out to for some trade offers for Watson. Oh, but uh, we didn't entertain it. But I mean, there's some trade offers for him. Okay. So, um, so w- would you have dealt him, Mister Mister Trades Lot? No, no, I'd have dealt Rogers a year earlier. <laughs> we did, but uh, you know, um, yeah, I, w- I would not trade Watson right now. Okay. Might keep our wide receivers. I like our young team. All right, even your quarterback. I'm fine with Jordan Love. What you trying to trade me car or something? No, Um, no. Well, I mean, I'd be interested if you if you are (laughs) (laughs) at this point. Look, (laughs) let's be real now. (laughs) I'm sure sure plenty of other people have been on the opposite side of that text. I'd be interested if you are, (laughs) or you know, this period. I I added Tim in there, that just ruined my whole joke. Damn it. <laughs> That's when me and Delvin can go for too damn long. We start texting each other that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh. Uh, Julio Jones signed yeah. a one year deal with the Eagles. Oh, is this interesting at all to you, uh, Kyle? Oh, uh, it is. It is because okay. of the name, the name mm-hmm. recognition. Like, mm-hmm. that's about it. Um, I just feel like he's just like, this doesn't really help at all. I really don't think he's that much of a step up. He's a veteran presence and mm-hmm. like he could help maybe in the locker room. So there's that. But like as as far as like on the field, I, I just like I, I don't see a whole lot happening. Um I feel like the Eagles took a step back uh, against a tough Jets team. I feel like they might have been exposed a little bit. Like they have some flaws that they're still trying to work out and I feel like a lot of people saw that. Mm-hmm. Um Man, I, I just I, I don't see him helping too much uh, anywhere else other than like inside the locker room. That that's really about it for me. Okay, so yeah. definitely not not go out and get him on your team. I, I honestly, <laughs> you want to like I feel like <laughs> I feel like I want to just stash him, just like you know, just in case. Um, but like, what's it gonna take for for him to actually like start in your lineup? You know? Yeah. Like, is yeah. it, you know, well, you're looking at my, my apocalypse is coming, right? Yeah. Uh, apocalypse, week seven. I yeah. guess, but he's that's like a super, super tough. Uh, I mean, what's his upside really? Like, when, when AJ Brown is literally getting 125 yards every single week, no matter what, and then when they're not throwing to AJ Brown, they're throwing it to Devontae Smith, who's still eating targets, and it's like. And then you have go dare like you have so yeah. many options that you just can't like fit another Swift. like fantasy starter. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Julio Jones though, like he is who he is, you know. But at, at the same time, stash him maybe. But you know that whole buy apocalypse thing. I don't I don't buy into that. You know, hey, it's real. <laughs> you got, yeah. Yeah, we, you got we, bench we, players for a reason. Play them, man. Like well, we, they say buy apocalypse. They say it's by apocalypse because week seven's the most teams on by and one right. Week. So that's right. why they're that's why it's by apocalypse. But but um what AJ Brown and uh, Julio were teammates together, right? Yeah, Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. there's only boys, and that's the reason why he's on the team because yeah, AJ Brown say, Hey, get my boy. <clears throat> hey, he same thing at Tennessee. Well, yeah. I want to I want to say too, is that uh Kyle kind of alluded to this too, is that like uh Devonta Smith was was hitting hot for a while and then AJ Brown started, you know, being a little bit of a diva. And then all of a sudden targets started coming his way. Maybe Devonta Smith 
and uh, AJ Brown got some issue. Well, I, I missed the the diva part though. I don't, I don't know. Well, AJ, yeah, yeah, AJ Brown caused some problems earlier in the season. Hmm. You know, and uh, so so here he is. Here he is, though. They fed him. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you got to, right? Mm-hmm. For sure. So, um, one of the biggest pieces of news I saw was Colin Murray mm. designated for return. So he's got like a 21 day window or whatever to start practicing and stuff. And Colin actually coming back. Cause that's interesting. I mean, I, I assumed it was going to be IR all, all year. Yeah. Yeah. They were tanking. That's what everybody's right. been saying. Exactly. That, that, that's, no... that, that's, that's what I read in the script. I think, though, <laughs> I, that's what I read in the script. I think, though, uh, did you hear this too, Kyle? That like they have to play, they have to be off the PUP or the, I thought it was a POP, PUP, or, unable to perform or whatever. Was what it PUP? Yeah, don't give me don't give me started with the rules. I forget about the background. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the PUP is not is like a non football injury, and the IR is a football injury. Yeah, yeah and, yeah. and I think what happens is that his contract years don't tick if he's on PUP for too long. I don't know about that. I'm being real. That's what that's why JT JT came back. JT was on the no, well, yeah. So his his thing was he wasn't going to be able to um, accrue a, a a season, yeah, or to his contract. That's what I just said. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. PUP, that, I mean, Kyle, physically unable Kyle. to perform is like when Kyle. you're when you're injured, okay, and by four the season, yeah, they put, they can put you on PUP, and then after week six they can revisit take you off that list. And and putting you on, you know, active. It didn't affect your pay. Kyle, Kyle can you throw the bullshit flag on this dude? <laughs> we I have, reach, I have no reach, flags to throw. Hey, no, no. Get, get your hand out. Get your hand out. Reach behind <laughs> your back. All right. And grab that bullshit flag on out of the out of, out of the, the waistband. Right behind, right behind <laughs> Santa's pockets. All right. That's where he, <laughs> all right. Right there. Throw them on out. All right. Bullshit. Good. <laughs> It comes back. Okay, well, that's that's gonna wrap it up for the dudes this week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be taking shots. Screw you guys. <laughs> We're gonna look at oh. the BS and beer redraft league. It, and right now we've got me in first, Kyle yeah. is in second, oh. he trains is in third, Tim is all the way in last place. Where he belongs, but he did get his his first win. Yes, of course, of yes, of course he did. Don't even get me started. How how did you let that happen, Kyle? Uh, I didn't <laughs> score a whole lot of points, so I think that had something to do with it. But uh, no, man, I, I told him, hey, man, you know, coach up your team, you know, start some new players, do something. Yeah, not realizing like he's playing me this week. So yeah, you know. he was he put me in timeout. I I definitely took the L on that one, yeah. So you gotta stop drinking them skies, man. This, this, this is what happened is Dale said, will you please beat Kyle so I can be first? <laughs> Dale did not say that at all. That's bullshit. I believe it though. <laughs> no. I want to be first. You know, I'm not gonna hate on somebody who wants to be in first place. What are you talking about? I, I should actually like get in there and change my picture. On this team, like I'm telling you, yeah, all right. <laughs> you change your picture too. Eh, I don't know something. Lindsay, uh, Lohan. Lee? Lindsay Lohan, uh, Lohan, Taylor Swift. She's a football oh. fan. <laughs> Taylor Swift. That, that should be. You know what? That should be the BS and beer. Fancy football disgrace shirt that you have to wear to the draft the next year. If you get last place in the BSN Beer League, you have to wear the shirt that is whatever Taylor Swift. (laughs) All right. Taylor Swift put me on the map. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yes. That should be it. You have to wear the pink Taylor Swift riding a unicorn. Yeah. 
Oh, my. Okay, we got our first question here from Andrew. 32-man league, full PPR. Do I start Craig Reynolds or Zach Evans? So 32-man league? I think it means uh, roster. I'm, I'm assuming roster, roster size. size, yeah. I was uh, going to say, holy shit. So, yeah, he's getting, he's getting down to, you know, where you got to just find a running back. I'm gotta there with you, brother. Not there <laughs> at all, yeah. Yeah, I just I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of high on Zach Evans right now. I know we haven't really seen him, but I I like the Los Angeles offense. I've been uh, upset with myself that I'm not invested in it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Zach Evans would be the the guy I I would choose here in this case. Uh, I'm leaning towards Zach Evans too. Uh, I like you know the Rams offense, just like you're saying. You know, I, I would really like just kind of look at this from an offensive standpoint, like not the individual player, just what you know, what offense they're in. Yeah, um, I'm going with with Zach Evans on that one. Uh, but both are not like terrible, terrible options. Right, you're not you're not totally screwed on this one. Right, I, well, like like Tim pointed out earlier, it's like with Craig Reynolds, you're you're hoping for a fifty fifty split uh-huh. at best with Gibbs, so. Well, uh, in my rankings, there I do have Evans uh, eleven spots higher. Yeah, so it's kind of a big jump altogether between the two. So, yeah, I, I just but, with with Gibbs still like being banged up, mm-hmm. I feel like we're we're still not like a hundred percent sure. Like you come in and give him the workload, you know? Yeah, I just I feel like you kind of still need to ease him back into it. Um, with him just back and forth, injured, not injured, he. He needs to have like a solid, you know, few weeks. But with Montgomery going down and him being forced, you know, back into action, like I really kind of feel like you lean on Reynolds. So that might that might equal a lot more touches. Yeah. Um, I, I still have Evans ranked higher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Evans against Pittsburgh. So um uh Roshan Johnson. So mm-hmm. another uh, hot name that's been out there. All right, all right, bro. But he's he's still in the, the concussion protocol, so I wouldn't. I mean, if he's out when when he's out the con- uh, protocol, I'm going to be really high on him. I I got him and I'm I'm holding him. So that's I, that's how I feel about him. <laughs> I got him at questionable right now, but he's uh, ranked 19. Mm-hmm. Got him ranked 19th. So, if he plays, he's going to be ranked pretty high. Worth your yeah. B two. But you got you got to kind of scale back your expectations because mm-hmm. they don't have a quarterback at all. No, and and this is not no. like a Justin Fields joke what? or anything Whoa. like that. This is <laughs> Whoa. like they they literally mean? got an undrafted rookie free agent as a backup. Chicago's never had a quarterback. They literally have an undrafted they, rookie free agent as a backup. They, Jay Cutler is their best quarterback of all time. <laughs> oh my god! All right, that, I'm serious. I <laughs> love Jay Cutler, but that that should show you a whole lot, you know. Dale loves Bears. All right. <laughs> he no, loves Bears. no, hey, I really don't. Hey, I really hey. don't. <laughs> you don't. Don't lie. I really it's don't. Like, but yeah, I did. I did invest in that offense a little bit. I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> it's just because Justin Fields did so good last year, bro. Those yeah. good points. <laughs> yeah. Nine fingers fields. <laughs> <laughs> that that injury hurts, man. Yeah. That injury hurts. So what do we got next? Oh, who are we here? Three and three. Saquon, Rashad, White, Chauvinet. Oh, that name hurts my feelings. Trade away Keaton Allen for Alave and JT. I mean, yeah. he's getting a lot back. I mean, yeah. If, I yeah. know Keaton's really hot, but at the same time, like Alave has the talent, like JT, like, come on. I think that's that's a win. Yeah, Rashad White is garbage. I, so <laughs> don't even consider him <laughs> as somebody that you can count on. That's true. Tell you, garbage. Dale fell for that one too. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need a whole section for Dale 
and it includes Dale talking. Yeah, m- maybe just just a list of regrets we have. You know? Yeah, but we need a violin <laughs> in the background playing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, getting back, uh, getting I, back Olave and JT because I think JT is going to take off. But yeah. Saquon and JT would be your one-two punch right there. Um, Mm -hmm. Zach Charbonnet is, uh, he's a future piece, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And can be a backup in in a pinch. Like if Mm -hmm. I'd I'd probably start Charbonnet over Rashad White right now, I'm telling you. Uh, (laughs) That's a stretch. Kenneth Walker, he is is that. No. You ain't getting nothing from Zach, from Sean White. I'm telling you, I'm there. Sean <laughs> White gets the touches though. Like as far as that goes, yeah. I don't, I don't think Charbonnet is really ready to be a. a player he gets yet. the touches and he gets about three more points than I do. <laughs> <laughs> but you I, can... I do it. I do it from my couch. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Just they saying. Call, they're calling him. They're calling him Fashad White because he's a facade. Yeah. yeah facade White. <laughs> the guy couldn't run. Uh-huh. Couldn't run from the shadow. <laughs> uh-huh. You talking about Dale? Uh, no, Is he Rashad talking about White. Dale right there? Oh, it's the Rashad. oh, that was Rashad. Oh, that was Rashad. Thanks. <laughs> You know, so yeah. Kyle, I, Kyle the next up. league, huh? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, just... the, the next league, um, the Little Rock Dynasty League. I see mm-hmm. both of us are four and two in that one, Tim. Nice, yeah, we are, but we're in like totally different places. So. <laughs> Wait, what's your place? It, it doesn't matter. I, I just got to get into the playoffs. There's no buys. So I just yeah. got to get in. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. It's yeah, all you, good. You you four and two and you're six, and I'm four and two and second. Okay, cool. All right. Because <laughs> we'll everybody's four and two in this league. Look here. It's the big league. It's the big league. <laughs> all right. And we talk about BS this and beer dynasty league. What? This isn't really the one we're talking about. Kyle leads the way. Gosh. In this one. Um, so, well, Aaron, I'm sorry, Aaron's at top, five Aaron. and one. Yeah. Then we got Kyle four and two. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, oh, I'm at I'm at seven, at three and three, and Tim all the way down there, what? two and four. Dude, we ain't trying to talk Number about twelve. I I, I, I have the field down up, there, Tim. Hey, Kyle, you know what? You're a good competitor. You're good. You like outside the playoffs, you know, we, like, We're not talking about Dale. We're not talking about Dale. <laughs> you're doing a good job, Kyle. Tim, Tim you're on a, a four-game losing streak. Oh, on a four-game oh. winning streak. That's oh. the universe is literally like it, it's only given us one, like between the two of us. One of us gonna win, one of us gonna lose. <laughs> like, every single week we've been back and forth. So I don't know, man. It, it is it's what it is. Awful. Yeah, it happens. But yeah. Tim Tim can't buy one. Man. It works out. I gotta look. At, I gotta look at that team right now. That's pissing me <laughs> off. Here you guys. Yeah, you know. a, a little fire under him. Dude, it, I'm. I'm as. I'm, I'm. I just got as hot as when I took a whiskey shot earlier. <laughs> <laughs> like, to be fair, that team is totally win now. Like I'm 100 percent like yeah. all in for this. Yeah, season. you are. Look, I got I got old dudes carrying my team. Cooper Cups, you know, Tyree Kills. I don't I don't care. I want to win all the time, and I still want to win for like ever, you know. So, um, I did pick a bunch of young dudes, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, hmm. it's your time here, Kyle. Let's get her done. Bow, bow. I want winners. I want people that want to win. Kyle's killer defense. Bow. All right, Kyle. Last week, you suggested everyone go out mm. and pick up Jacksonville and Minnesota. Uh huh. So let's see how they did. 
you got Minnesota with like 22 Gosh. points. My goodness. And Jacksonville <laughs> holding 10. Like double digits on both your pick, Kyle. Uh-huh. Both of them, yeah. Man. I feel I, I feel like this is a dig, too, because like I lost this bet to Kyle earlier. <laughs> and Dale's talking shit. I'm telling you, man, that was a I, good week. I had a – I'm hot right now. I had a great you, week last week. Man. You, you are, dude. I'm, I'm More power to you. I do like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so who you got for us this week, Kyle? This week I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like everybody kind of just saw what happened with Cleveland um, against the Niners. Like their team on, on defense is just so stacked. The more and more you look at it. They have playmakers literally all across the board. Um, I'm, I'm really feeling Cleveland. Like, they were uh, plus 44% added. Literally, like, you know, they only rostered, like, 40%. And then everyone's like, oh, my God, you know, they're a great team. Um, they've been on my squad for a minute. Um, so I'm happy. Uh, they're still on the board for some people. But last week they killed it uh, against the Niners team. Um, nobody saw it coming. But this week they're playing Indy. Uh, with Richardson out, you have Gardner Minshew, and he's not, you know, he's not terrible. Um, he, he's he's more of a veteran at this point. He's not going to turn it over too many times. Um, but I feel like Cleveland, the way they're playing, that's like a great, great start. Um, I would go with Cleveland. And then this other one, um, if you can't get Cleveland, like let's let's just like look at this logically. Like the number one team you want to uh, start a, a fantasy defense against is the New York Giants, the number one team. And Washington goes in there. They're hot. They just beat Atlanta in Atlanta. Gave Desmond Ritter his first home loss, which we all loved. We'd love to see that. Um, so that they're riding high right now. Um, they played phenomenal. They're still available in like 50% of leagues. I like Washington, and I like them playing the Giants, who are the team to play against if you're starting defenses and you're streaming. So let's go Cleveland Browns. Let's go Washington Commanders, week seven. Like it. Dale, I can't hear you. I was, oh, he's muted. I was, you I was muted yourself. Ass. I, I, see. I, was I like, sure I, did. I sure yeah. did mute myself. I, I, I thought. Fix, huh? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought my natural instincts were kicking in. And I was yeah. just like, seeing your lips move and I couldn't hear you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was good stuff. I was saying too. I'm telling you, it was so good. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> when if Kyle gets you double digits again on both of these teams, like this, I, this I, is I, really gonna be mage. <laughs> and y- y'all really need to start uh put some money down and then contact the show and let us know what you did. All right, you know? I mean, hey. <laughs> So look, because I got this stupid candy cane whiskey. All right. Mm-hmm. So if so, Kyle's got his two teams, and if they get double digits, me and Dale got to take a shot. Oh, here we go again. Both Dale of making them? a bet for me. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> look, look. I will. I this is how much I love you, Dale. I will go. Oh. Buy, I will go buy some of this and drop it off at your house. All okay, right? the deal. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this week, yeah. What? What? Maybe we'll mail some to Kyle. We'll see what happens. That that's a good friend right there. That is a good. That's a good man, Tim. You are a good man. <laughs> hey, you know, no, no matter no, what they say, <laughs> no. I just want to see him get drunk and stupid. <laughs> oh, take this shot, Dale, and do something dumb. <laughs> uh, I like it. I like it. All right. I just added Dale to it. Did you write it down? You you wrote it? I just typed it up. There yeah. we go. There you go. That's a lot, though. I'm, 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 I'm feeling pretty good about both those. Cleveland is is really, really feeling themselves uh, mm-hmm. coming off that win. And Washington, <laughs> like, playing the Giants. Oh, man. Especially if they don't have Daniel Jones, that really could be bad for New York. Like, that's – we're looking at triple digits at that point. <laughs> Triples. <laughs> okay, I got it. Got it all listed there, and, and he's not official. 
All right. <laughs> Severe he's, bet. He's been on a win streak lately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's dangerous. Dangerous. I, I think use. we also need to go over the Pick'em League since we're talking about it. Like, oh. since, since we're talking about, like, you know, how hot I am right now. I mean, good, Cal. Oh, yeah. The, the, what, the boss came in. She's like, what are you talking Who are you talking to over there? <laughs> she came in. <laughs> Since we're talking about how hot oh, I am. Oh, hey, there they are. Those are the standings. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Damn. That was great, Kyle. For real. <laughs> I've, never, I've never had so much fun losing my ass off. <laughs> oh, oh man. yep. Okay. Oh, At the top gosh. of the pick room, we've got Kyle and Dave tied for first. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. They're not oh. tied for first. Kyle's been first. It says right there. <laughs> it's both 39 points. Tied for first. Oh. There you go. Uh, let's see. Rob 22278 and fifth B train six. What the hell is Craig still doing up here in the top 10? Man, what the right, hell? Number eight? Right. <laughs> Nuts, man. And shout out to my guy, the Queefers, number nine. <laughs> Great team name. Oh. Tomas 13. Where am I? I am 16 and I am 17. That's right. That's right. We we got a problem here. Where are we at from the bottom, Bill? I want to ask that. Okay, so there's 25 total teams, and we yeah. suck. Yeah. Kellen we gave suck. up. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, I'm still confused why you continue to commission this league because we suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's not actually mine. Like Dave actually runs this league. Uh-huh. He's been doing this like before before we even started. Uh, our shows, so oh, yeah, damn. Uh huh. So yeah, we Dave, just, we just kind of took it because you know Dave, Dave doesn't podcast very much very more. So <laughs> Dave, yeah, but yeah, I keep the tradition alive. So Dave's still kicking our ass, though. He's like number two. Yeah, yeah, he, he's gonna fade. He, he always does. He always <laughs> does. He, he does every year. Okay. <laughs> Kyle, I gotta hand it to you. Like I said, man, you're kicking butt, especially like this this year week, man. Yeah. Man. Yeah, really. Just, uh, I'm gonna keep it going until next week. There we go. Um, no, oh, this is the wrong thing. I'm not gonna be showing this yet. Intern. Um, yeah. Yeah. Get out of there. Boom. <laughs> this is why Dell can't have more than one shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's a lot of buttons to push here, Tim. <laughs> A lot of freaking buttons. Okay. Next segment. Here we go. It's time for Timmy's Tips. Perhaps play a little game called Just a Tip. Just for a second. Just to see how it plays. That's right. I know you hate that picture now. I do hate that picture. It makes me even more happy every time I put it up. I know, I know that. And every time I lose to Kyle, you're like smiling too much, you know. Dude, I know awesome. you got a little whitener on that, a little extra whitener on them teeth nowadays too. <laughs> Just so when I, when I, you know, there we go. All right, Tim, what you got for us this week? Hey, this is uh, I got I got running back trades. Who running back for? trades. Oh, nice. All right. Okay, so these were definitely be trades that are totally mm-hmm. unfair. One side. I just can't. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> this guy, you know. So first, first off, I was um, I was digging through. I'm looking for running backs that I'm aiming for. All right, who we who we looking for? We're always looking for the players who had their bye weeks already, or um, <clears throat> and then we want them to have a soft schedule for the rest of the season, particularly um, their strength of schedule to be during the playoffs. And and I pulled out three running backs, and um, so so here we go. My number one, my number one, but on tradeability to go get go get is Madre Stevenson. All right, he's um, he's number three overall for strength of schedule for the rest of seasons. Oh, and one one question, real quick. You're you're actually 
giving people the advice to go and trade for a New England running back. That's what I said. I know. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're I, own I own him. I own him. I own him. Continue. I've owned, I own him. Yeah, you're right. And um, yep. So, so that was uh, that was my thing. He's he's. Um, I, I'm going to trade for him next week though. Cur- he's currently on buy this week, so I want to trade for him next week and um, try to give the other team a uh, player that he that is yet to be on their bye week. Um, cause you're going to get that extra week and then he's got a soft schedule coming up. So, um, he, he still plays for new England, right? He still <laughs> plays for new England. Okay. Who's that, who's <laughs> yep. He's the number one guy though. He's been the number one guy, but, uh, they, they've had a hard schedule the first, first half this year. And, um, so this is the time to start looking, but, um, Anyway, uh, what's next? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? I got Jerome Ford, number two. He's number two on strength of schedule for the rest of the season. He's number four on the playoff strength of schedule, and um, he's been averaging about fourteen carries a game, even with Hunt around. And he's had a lackluster a few weeks, um, so I, I think he's going to be a good target to go after. Okay. Um, we should probably look at the last game. You're talking about what? Or uh, Walker. Cleveland. Yeah. No. Uh, Hunt? Ford. Ford, right? Yeah, we're talking about Ford. So this is just what I heard on, a, on another okay. podcast. Um, you heard is looking good. Mm-hmm. And just looking at the usage, um, and I'm I'm only talking about carries. Yeah. 17 carries for Ford, 12 for Hunt. Mm-hmm. Hunt has the touchdown in this in mm-hmm. this game. Yeah. Um receiving, Hunt has three receptions, 24 yards, or it has two for seven. Mm-hmm. Um I'm thinking this is going to be get more to a 50-50 time split. Yeah. And maybe ride the hot hand kind of thing too. I like you. Do you own Ford? No. I, okay. I, I yeah, I do. I do in one league, yes. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. We might have a work out a trade then. I'm good. We can't. Didn't Continue. he have <laughs> <laughs> didn't he have ninety one miscellaneous yards though? Ford. Um, oh, that's all this, together. This last game, I mean that's ninety one total yards. That's ninety one total yards. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. I think we need to take into account that that last game was against San Francisco. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's impressive yeah. for sure. But I'm I'm just saying it's going to be more of a split than anything between Hunt and Ford. <laughs> I, that's what I got. What you're saying, All right. yeah. I I got what you're saying, but I'm telling you that I think this is the time to trade for Ford. I think you can get him cheaper than you could Hunt. Oh. They'll say Hunt's the guy, and you're saying Ford's the guy. No, 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 no. It's not what I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. I'm just saying it's going to be a split. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So heads or tails? You know, what, what do you think? It's, a, it's a 50 50 split. Who, you got to start one. Gun to your head. Who are you starting? Oh. Gun, ooh. He, he said gun to your head, too. Okay. So, yeah. I, I'm picking Ford it's, right now. Yeah. It's a candy cane gun, too. <laughs> you know, the, everybody's selling a candy cane like it's a gun. All right. Don't act like I'm crazy or something. You know? <clears throat> right? Yeah. Yeah. So this this candy cane whiskey is calling my name again. Yeah. I'm right there with you. I'll, I'll take one with you. Are you really? Oh, my gosh. Dale, you got to take a swig of water. Is that what you're going to do? There it is. There it is. Oh. <laughs> A lot. Our fearless leader. There he is. <laughs> All right, Dave and Buster's, Dave and Buster's shot glass. Here you go, Kyle. Boom, baby. Cheers. Oh my gosh. I gotta There's call so that. I gotta call that. It's gonna be the last shot for the night. I'm, be, <laughs> I'm calling into work and using a sick day. Exactly. I don't know what happened. I don't mm-hmm. know what happened. I got sick all of a sudden. 
<laughs> must be a bug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here's here's the big one that's a, a hard trade to grab up. That's why it's my third. Um, is Austin Eckler. All right, he's number one strength of schedule for the rest of the season. He's number two through the playoffs. He's already had his bye week. Um, he has a ha- hard matchup this week. Um, there's a chance you could grab him up after this week. And um, so, yeah. I so like that one. I actually like oh, that my one. gosh. There you go. Oh, man. Kyle, what I'm do you approved. think? Then? I, I've heard Dale's opinion the whole time. <laughs> you know, Kyle, let me, you know. Dale. <clears throat> I mean, I had somebody offer me, like, something stupid for Eckler. Um, yeah. I'm sitting there looking like, like, I understand, like, you know, he's hurt. He's missed time. Um, that's that's ridiculous. Are we talking about Austin Eckler? You know, yeah. um, he is not he's not past that prime. He's still in it to me. Mm-hmm. He's still right there. Um, he's still got Justin Herbert. He's still on that offense. Um, and I think it also helps with with the Chargers defense still not being able to figure it out. Um, I, I just feel like that offense is still so potent. You can't you cannot give him up if you have him. Um, yeah, I mean it's it, if you're trading for him, you know, good for you. Uh, but if you have him, hang tight, bro. That's that last week. That was not, you know, that's not how it's going to be the rest of the way. Uh, I'm keeping Eckler with everything I have for sure. Gotcha. Uh, like it. Another one about your Ramondre. Uh, little love there. Uh, they're saying Zeke oh, is taking over. God. What? What is he Joshua? I. All right. This, this is what Joshua, Joshua could be a Pats fan. I don't know. Right? I mean, he could be. <laughs> Joshua's not here to take a take a beer bet. <laughs> we need Joshua here. All right. Pick, Pick three. <clears throat> Mostert, right. Kamara, Swift, Ford, or Madison? Oh. That first seems three obvious. is the first three, what? and that's it. Yeah, you should, you should stop yeah. piping after Swift. <laughs> <laughs> or Madison, like tra- you know, I would say maybe wait till they're hot and you know get what you can for them. Uh, that's too easy for me. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I think I think uh, before you trade somebody away, make sure you're trading away somebody's got a, a bad strength of schedule later in the season, especially in the playoffs. Um, so. I'm, I'm I'm out of this. It might be Kamara. I'm gonna strength the schedule. Okay, I'm, pull, I'm pulling that up right now. Give me a second. Yeah, I'm I'm just <laughs> going straight off my head. Like the players I want most. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, um, I got you. you know, I don't, um, I don't blame me. Let's see. Okay, the last one we got here. Four and two in the PPR league. Gave up Kenneth Walker and Garrett Wilson for Cup. Good or bad trade. Still has Swift and uh and Jones running backs. Wow. Way to go, David. Way to go. You, yeah. you have the balls to do it. You wanted Cup, you went after him. Walker as as phenomenal as he's been playing. You're in a PPR league. Like take advantage of Cooper Cup. Like mm-hmm. straight up, uh, I applaud you. You still have Swift. You still have Aaron Jones. Um, you know, with him and his injuries, that might be something to watch. Uh, get yourself another back just in case. But yeah, Cup is gonna save your ship. Uh, Cup is that dude. So I applaud you. I, I so- like it, David. So you you're saying, Kyle, is that Puka might not be the guy there? Puka is not that guy there. Cup is back, baby. Cup <laughs> is that guy. He is back. Uh, I love it. Uh, um, I have him in, in like a couple couple leagues. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Puka did have that little drop off last week, um, and I know Stafford is you know that one receiver type guy. <laughs> But um he's the only got eyeballs well, for receiver. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's really kind of like his main chick and everybody else is and you know. Uh, uh, every... <laughs> no, I, got... 
I'm sorry, Cup is back and he's that triple crown threat, bro. Like, you know. Um I like it. But I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that I'm 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 done on, on Puka. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna say that, you know, like don't trade him away, keep him on your squad. I'm not a hundred percent sure he's a must start, but Flex. You know, he might be a flex. He he is for sure. You know, he had that one bad week, but mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not giving up on Puka yet. All right. Well, I was throwing shade on Dale. So I appreciate <laughs> you out, man. You're there, I, I gave you props last week. Oh, I mean, you know. I'll take it. Well, I lost everything this week, so I gotta have something. <laughs> right. Gotta, and, gotta relive that and, victory. And somehow in losing, I found this like pep, uh, candy cane whiskey. All right. Like, <laughs> like, man, this, man, this bird dog, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes, I, sometimes well, who really win. who really lost there? Huh, Tim? Sometimes you can win by losing. Yeah, there you go. Who who really <laughs> lost? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. All right. Let's uh get to the, the end of this show here. And now, let's look at this week's matchup. That's right. We're going to pick some games. Uh, we're going to start off. Oh, my goodness. With Miami at Philadelphia. Philadelphia, two-point favorite. 52 points is the total. Jalen Hurts, he's ranked QB1. Completed 28 passes, 280 yards with a touchdown, three interceptions, 47 yards on the ground, and a touchdown on eight carries. Miami, they have the 21st overall uh, defense, and they struggled. Mm-hmm. to defend the pass here. And, of course, A.J. Brown is the big dog out there in Philadelphia. Wide receiver four rankings uh, this week. Um, last week went well. He had 100 yards uh, receiving for the fourth straight game in week six. Um, <clears throat> and that stretch, 50th speedster, He's averaged almost eight catches for 141 yards a game. Huh. So definitely the passing game for Philadelphia is looking pretty good. Um, when you factor in adding in uh, Julio Jones, h- how do you feel about the passing game for Philadelphia, Tim? I don't, I don't even know if he's going to play this week, man. He, he might. He's I mean, a he veteran. Might. Yeah, where's where's Godert on here? Missed up. On where's Godert? Yeah, you tell me where where is he ranked? Uh, you can't like this is not Uno. You can't really like, reverse something. All of a sudden, <laughs> you try to play games we're not even playing. All right, you brought him up. He's ranked six. Right. You <clears throat> is, he, is he ranked six? <laughs> Yeah, it's on your rankings. Your rankings, yeah. Hey, I didn't yeah. six. I, I got him. I asked you first, and you didn't answer. So he well, ranked I, six. Thank you. I got, I got, <laughs> man, I got, some of us are drinking during the show. Okay, Dale. You know we're doing our jobs over here. All right. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we are. <laughs> you know. Got Dale. <laughs> I got Dallas Goddard his third. You know. So. <clears throat> all right. Yeah. I don't think so, it's going to play. Okay. But what about the rest of the passing game there? Oh, I had other questions. You told me off. <laughs> passing game. Well, yeah. I, I feel like it's still noteworthy that mm-hmm. Monte Smith still gets gets targets. Yeah. Um, he had a team high 11 targets last game. Mm-hmm. But, he, I mean, he only got five five catches for 44 yards. Mm-hmm. So they still want to include Devontae Smith. Um, I mean, Godart, like you, you saw how like he started so, so slow. Um, he got you a goose egg week one and you're just like, Oh, what the hell's happening? Um, and now he's kind of finding his rhythm. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he's, he's projected tight end six this week. I feel like he's, he's on the up 
and and Godarts that must start. Devontae Smith, I just don't know what's going on. Like, uh, and Tim, you were bringing up that like little dispute between AJ Brown and Devontae Smith, mm-hmm. and that that's news to me. I, I didn't know there was like that little, you know, that was spe- speculation. Yeah, uh, and, but but now it's it's seeming you know seeming more and more true to where Devontae Smith like he's getting his targets, but he's you know. AJ Brown's going off for 141 yards a game. Like what? Mm-hmm. What in the world? That mm-hmm. is, uh, that is what we want. That's what we're looking for. Devontae yeah. Smith, like he's he's really just he needs to find the end zone, or he's a bust every week at this point. Yeah. Well, I um, I, I was just looking up all my rankings on the uh, the Eagles players, and mm-hmm. AJ Brown is third, and uh, Devontae Smith is as eleventh this week. But uh, Julio's ranked like 116. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. signing on a <laughs> what, on <laughs> one, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know if you have an impact on Sunday. Yeah. And um, then Godert being being ranked number three, too. So I'm, I'm expecting a lot of high passes going on here. Okay. I'm, I'm curious now, though. Let me let me look up uh, the, just the running back situation for the Eagles. Yeah, it's it's Swift. He's ranked as the uh, running back eight. And, um, last week, he only had 18 yards on 10 carries. Yeah. And get 40 yards and a touchdown on eight catches. So he saved his day with that touchdown, mm-hmm. sure. Um, that, that eight catches, that like mm-hmm. sticks out like right away. I yeah. like that a lot. I got. Uh, I got Smith as number two overall this week. And Devontae Smith? No, no, sorry, Swift. I, oh, okay. I've been, okay. I've, been, <laughs> I've, been, I've been drinking. All right. No, 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 we you are guys. drinking. We drinking. We drinking. That's right. Dale, he's just like doing work, you know? Yeah. So that, that's that's the host though. Let's leave him alone, okay? <laughs> man. He's try, trying to get us some subscribers. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, so Swift is I, I got him ranked second this week. And um then the next running back for Philly is uh that's the other important piece. So Swift is gonna be like the number one piece for and projected to be the number one and Gainwell is ranked he's, 44. He's the handcuff at, at this point, right? Yeah, Gainwell's just like ranked as the 44th so very very big difference so if there's any running back you play for philly it's gonna be it's gonna be swift and nobody else my opinion okay there we go let's look at the miami side of things to uh <laughs> rank qb4 21 to 31 for 262 mm-hmm. three touchdowns man the dude's been balling all year Thrown 14 touchdowns, five interceptions through six games. Um, a, one of the biggest things that Tim always talks about is schedule, and Philly is the seventh easiest to the opponent quarterback. So mm. should be should be uh light the light all the fire light fire, fireworks for uh Tua there. Um. Tyreek Hill, every every freaking week, he's like doing his um, backflips and stuff in the end zone. <laughs> he is the wide receiver one of bro. wide receiver ones, bro. Jeez. Yeah. Bro, like really, always wide receiver one. Caught six of his 10 targets, 163 in a touchdown. I'm telling you, bro, this one hurts so much. I traded him back in, what, 2015, 16, Whatever it was. <laughs> Jeez, man, what what in the world did you get back to Tyreek Hill? I, I, well, I did I did win a championship. I got like AJ Brown and Whoa. some stuff. You won? Yeah, I, I won a championship off that trade, you know, but uh, it hurts, it hurts literal, every year that you yeah. didn't win because yeah, okay. Oh, I see he, that. he did win one time. <laughs> but it was because of that trade. But still, man, it hurts right now because Tari Hill's killing it, man. Killing it. Was it worth it? The one win? Yeah, it's, it's worth it. Is is a championship? Kyle, championship I'm, I'm, is always worth it. 
Okay. All right. Well, I want to get Kyle's vote too on this. You know, if you <laughs> you trade away somebody like Tyreek Hill to get a championship that year in Dynasty, is it worth it? You know, is it like worth getting the championship? Kyle, Kyle's I mean, clearly going to agree because his team is built to win now. <laughs> like a thousand percent, and I'm not I'm not denying it. Like, you yeah. Know, um, I, I just like championships are championships. Yeah. You will yeah. never. They will never be taken away from you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, unless you're like you know Reggie Bush or something, you're taking oh. all this money and getting your your Heisman's taken away, <laughs> right. something like that, something horrible like that. Right. Kind of how like the Houston Astros in baseball, they should have had their championships taken away, but uh, we're not going to get into that. That's that's uh, a fantasy thing. So, but I, but I gotta, um, but I gotta say that somebody cheated all the way to win. Is that what? Is that what it? Once a cheater, but, always a cheater. Okay. And then no, nothing as simplistic as like beating on a five gallon bucket in your dugout as a drum. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Okay. That we're sounds gonna, terrible. We're, we're gonna move on. Okay. But, but at the same time, yeah. <clears throat> Los Angeles Dodgers never forget. Um, yeah. No, I'm, yeah. I'm in the win now. Like your, your championships are, are always going to be with you. Like I get that, Dale. I would have done the same thing. Yeah. So don't yeah. let it bug you. You got the championship. You did what you needed to do. That's so, right, Dale. You did so good. Don't let it bother you, even though <laughs> nowadays, like yeah. Tyreek Hill, man, holy Hill shit. <laughs> so oh. you you did good, Dale. You won. You did. You did. What if, what if you won three in a row, Kyle? Oh God. Here you go. <laughs> ah, so that's how the whole time I was setting that up just to there get that deal. Just to <laughs> it. What if you won three in a row in that league? Yeah. Same league, you know, Dill won his one. All right. You know, but Tim won three in a row. All right. <clears throat> Raheem Mostert, Kyle. 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 Silent. Oh, RB6 it. this week. <laughs> He rushed for 115 yards, two touchdowns. He added three catches for 17 yards and a touchdown. Now has 11 total touchdowns in six games. This dude has been balling. And I can you really go back and think about a, an offense that supported two running backs when, when you think about uh, HN being um, a, a, an actual running back that you can actually start when he's healthy, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, the most recent you think like last year with Detroit, but that wasn't like a, a for sure thing. Mm-hmm. That was like, you know, DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams, that they're going to both like, you know, mm-hmm. do their thing. One of them is going to have a, a ball and ass game. Mm-hmm. And one of them is just going to be kind of mediocre. Um, you couldn't like count on them being, just absolute ballers every week. Right. That's that's the team that comes to mind, the most recent one. Um, but, yeah, like, Raheem Mostert, like, if you stay healthy, just, like, keep doing what you're doing because everybody loves it, Man. okay? We what are, about, like, I'm just, like, blown away about what's going on in Miami right now. What about From Kamara and Ingram? Denver Broncos ball boy to offensive guru. <laughs> like, mm. damn, bro. <laughs> no, Kamara and Ingram – Mar Ingram, I like that combo. For fantasy, I liked him. I, I, I don't. I guess I didn't. I didn't really have exposure to Ingram very much. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can't speak to that part. Hmm? Maybe we're talking about before we're talking about Saints running backs, though. I'm gonna throw in the Reggie Bush, Deuce McAllister from 2006. Okay. That little like, oh my god, that was was something. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I saw like a little post the other day, um, and the highlights of those two like hey. together. Whew, that that's some thunder and lightning. That's as close as you can get to to Reggie Bush and uh, what was it Lindell White at USC? Mm, yeah, right. They kind of right. just replaced Lindell White with Deuce McAllister, right. and that's yeah. that's deadly. That was that was something to see. Hey, so look, I got a surprise guest. Is it Sarah from Little Rock? <laughs> Hell no. Hey, on. Hell no. It's my, I'm going to bring my kid on here. You get baby Ray in here all the time. It's my daughter. Ivy. <laughs> oh. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the day, the day dad's had the, too much of the uh, candy cane bird dog. She didn't know. 
<laughs> so, like, here she is. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, look at there. So, tell her about that, about that whiskey there. <laughs> no, no, we don't, we don't, she's too young for all that. So. But, uh, anyway. Cool, cool. All right. Welcome to the show, Ivy. <laughs> oh, she can. She can hear you because I got my stupid headset turned up so loud. <laughs> right, I'm like, oh man, she heard oh, you man. Yeah. my head, headset right now. Yeah, yeah. She, there you she, go. I can cheese from her work. Look at that. That's I was, gonna, I was just about to ask you. Did she bring some food, bro? Oh yeah, she did <laughs> mac and cheese, baby. Oh, what? It's her mac and cheese. Uh, Jess's chicken. So, oh, like, oh, okay. Hey, look. Okay. So she works at this place, David's Burger in Little Rock. Uh, there you got like four or five, eight. Like, how many locations? Ten. Oh, I, I'm not keeping things. Oh, it, damn. Anyway, they opened up like a, a Chick Fil A, you know, kind of thing, and yeah. uh, they got some cheese. All right. So look, my kid, you can't, you can't sit here and trust your kid when you get a certain age. All right. Because I was. Uh, don't tell me I that. Was, I, I don't, and so I, I had like some dental work and I had to get under anesthesia. All right. And she took a whole bunch of videos of me um, directly after I got out of, out of the surgery from, I had to get under anesthesia for my, my surgery on my jaw. And in this video, in these videos, like I am ordering, like I'm, I'm ordering my McDonald's, like I'm in the drive through. All right. Like, <laughs> like, like, I'm like, I want an Oreo McFlurry and, and a, a flail fish, you know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so she she took her dumb dad to her work after that, right? To this Jess's Chicken in Little Rock, and <clears throat> they got some bomb ice cream. Okay, <laughs> nice. And after that, I have been eating the crap out of this ice cream because uh, because it's just like it's it's soft serve ice cream. It's on fire. So. Yeah. Anyway, right. don't, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna don't have to take this place out, man, for real. Don't let your teenager pass it up. Tell them to bring one down to Louisiana. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Kyle, Kyle, you, you'll be there in about 16 more years, Kyle. Oh, <laughs> you're ready man. to get out there. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's pick this game. Miami at Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Two point favorite, Kyle. Who you got? I'm going Miami. I really feel like they're kind of. I just, I, I, I got this feeling. I got this vibe, and you know what? Since I'm hot, I'm just, I'm rolling with it. All right, Let, let's go Miami. And they like got it. the two points, so um, yeah. you know, worst case scenario, it's like a, you know, like a 31 30 type game. Um, Miami's defense might not be able to contain everything that, that Philly has on offense, but you know, I, I still feel like Miami's they're dangerous, man. So well, let's go Miami. All right, Tim. Wow. Mm. All right, look, look. I'm gonna go with my friend Mariah. And then I'm gonna go Philly. I'm sorry. I'm All right. Philly. Philly to cover by three. Okay. I am picking Miami and the points because it's mm. Miami and you're giving them points. <laughs> that I the whole family thing. Yep, yep. Yeah. Well, I got mac and cheese, so it's cool. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next game. I said next game. There we go. Los Angeles Chargers at Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs are five and a half point favorites. Mm -hmm. 48 points is the total. Starting on the Kansas City side, Patrick Mahomes, QB2. Um, it wasn't your typical Mahomes stat line, but the rushing numbers helped him. He had a fine fantasy performance 30 of 40 for 306. Touchdown. One interception, rush for 31 yards uh, on six carries. Those were uh, big rush yards in the game, clutch, clutch kind of rushes. So um, the wide receiver 
Rasheed Rice, the rookie. Wide receiver 36. Yeah. This is the guy who looks different than anybody else on the team. Mm -hmm. Um, But he only got four targets. Caught all of them. 72 yards. He has some um, really nice air yards on those throws. Um, But with them signing back Hardman, I'm wondering how quick they can put him in and how this is going to affect Rice. Tim, I know you've got Rice on your team. What are your thoughts? Everywhere. Everywhere. You're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. What is what is Rice going to do? Well, I mean, if he's catching all four targets, why are we gonna why are we gonna like pull you know, pull him out? Because they traded for McCall Hardman. Oh man, his role, dude. His role is probably probably better than that. Let me see. Gosh, what? How many targets did Rice get uh, last week before? How many targets did he have the he's week before? Always, I think he's gotten like uh, five targets every week or so. Okay. I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm looking it up right now. By the way. All right. So. But um, um let's see here. Uh, let's see. Oh my God. He's he got four receptions against the Broncos. Five, two, four targets. Five, two, seven, five, five, four. I don't. I don't see it, man. I'm gonna pull up the Broncos right now too, just to see where Hardman is going. You got a good. You got. That's a good question, Dale. I mean, legitimately. Um, that's that's what I do, Tim. I'm I'm hosting the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hostess yeah. with the no, I, don't, I don't like it. I'm, I'm feeling the problem is I'm feeling slightly offended right now too. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. And why why like, are you offended here? That I asked a good question. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> I, I, it's like you're my yeah yeah you're my buddy. I shouldn't feel offended, but like I feel offended when you say things. So. <laughs> Dang. You're crazy man. So, so, like last week, it was uh, Kelsey nine for nine, Pacheco uh-huh. six for six. Um, Rice yeah, man, look, Pacheco's four. been been picking it up a lot in the passing game. They're they're actually starting to target him. He's yeah. catching the ball. He's doing his thing. I'm mm-hmm. I almost traded him away earlier this season. I'm kind of glad I kept him. Um, he's yeah. been he's been a, a pretty nice back, man. I think I think maybe it's the Tony and Sky Moore positions that kind of look more at it because they're three and six and two and four. You know, yeah. Tony did get that touchdown in the last game. Yeah. But they might be looking to fill those roles in Rice being four for four, 72 yards. Um, I mean, I, I, I get what you're saying with roles and stuff, but huh? they're all the same guy. <laughs> I feel you. Rasheed Rice. Is is the is the albino of the group or whatever like the <laughs> I, I know <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so you're saying like they're the same like that one that one white chick dating the same dude over and over again <laughs> he's like the they're same all guy. Just, they're all about run fast guys that, that only ep- are <laughs> that ep- that episode of Friends whenever uh, Jennifer Aniston dated the same guy that looks just like Ross. Oh, right. yeah, Russ, yeah. you don't know that? You didn't know that, Dale? You know I don't. You know I you didn't don't. know that. I, I, don't know I didn't know that. All right, well, the whole... I'm, I'm your friend's guru. Right. I, I'll, right. I'll, I can speak it to you. Okay, we can speak friends. You know, <laughs> she, you know she I did that dude that looks just like Ross, pretty much. And they're all so... like, "Y'all don't see it? Like it's the same person." <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, well, um, I, I think if they're all the same person, Rice has been doing his thing, and I've been very happy mm-hmm. with Rice. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. progression, and um, I saw that earlier today, and that's kind of what I'm upset about is that I didn't like think about like does this affect Rice and how would this affect Rice? So, but um, you know, maybe his role is different in the offense. Chance on that? Yeah, it is. It is possible. Never, never know here. Um, let's go to the Chargers side. Justin Herbert, QB6. Started off strong by scoring a touchdown early in the four, first quarter. But from there, mm-hmm. 
They didn't find the end zone again until the fourth quarter. Uh, he didn't have a bad game, but it wasn't anything spectacular from a fantasy perspective. Uh, 22 of 37, 227, two touchdowns, and an interception. But we saw the return of Austin Eckler. Um, kind of underwhelming, rushed 27 yards, 14 carries, um, four catches, 35 yards. Um, maybe he will bounce back, you know, after being out so long. Um, we did, we did see a touchdown from uh Gerald Everett, who's coming in as a tight end 16. And if you get a tight end who catches a touchdown and you got him in your starting lineup, that's money. That's like Kyle right there. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle is money. Yeah. Right he's, now, you gotta gotta get a wall of hot. Smoke him if you got him. He's Kyle Money's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, what, what are we thinking about the Chargers side of things, Kyle? I'm still like I'm waiting for Eckler to really have his like, you know, his comeback game where you know, week one he came out, he did his thing, he was he was the same guy we we expected him to be. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm feeling like you know going against that Cowboys front, going against you know that that whole like this is your first game back. I know you had a bye the week before, but you know you've been missing games and and we're ready for you to come back and explode. Um, like it, it it's just not going to happen your first game back. Like you kind of need to ease into it, kind of have that one game where it's it's underwhelming, but you still got the touches. There was 14 carries. And then it was uh, four passes. So it's like, you know, you still had like 18 touches. And that's what we're looking for uh, on, on this offense. Like 18 touches on, on a game that's not against the Cowboys. And not a game that's that's back and forth. That kind of like, you know, it was a, what, 20 to 17 game. Um, you know, on a game that's like 35 to 33. Like those 18 touches are going to go for a lot more points. He's going to have a lot more points coming up and and really I'm I'm kind of expecting him to really bounce back and be that dude be like the Austin Eckler you know the projected RB2 of the week so uh, I'm still looking for that I still have have a lot of confidence in that coming back you know um Justin Herbert he is he is that dude he he's got it um and so I I feel like this this offense has nothing to worry about like they're two and three right now. The division's not great. Like, let's just take a moment and calm down for a sec. You know, Are you concerned at all about that finger for uh, Herbert? Uh, I mean, what's going to happen if if Herbert can't go? What happens to that offense? Is it? Oh yeah, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> uh, but I mean, really, we all saw it in prime time. We're all watching Monday Night Football. It's the only game on. We're all watching it. Um, and Herbert's missing open, open guys. And it's not just that one throw to Keenan Allen in the fourth quarter. It's multiple throws. Like, do you think that's actually, like, playing into it, like, right now? Because, honestly, what, what else do you have? Like, what's the other excuse for him missing a wide-open Keenan Allen in the fourth right. quarter? Yeah. I, yeah. I just, uh, like, he's that dude. He just needs to play like it. He just needs to get his whether it's his finger, whether it's, you know, um, whatever's going on with him now that he has Eckler back now that he's kind of, you know, getting back in his rhythm. Um, he, he just needs to play like it. Okay. So what, while we're on this game, the question trade Mahomes for Amon Ross St. Brown, uh, and Brees Hall. Wait, is the Amon Ross St. Brown, Brees Hall and Fields? Yeah. Mahomes? Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. damn. I'm down. <laughs> Good. We'll trade. Tra- we'll trade Patrick away. Wow. Yeah. 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 If, if you got the roster space. And, you, yeah. You know. And and two Swift tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Could you two. imagine? Holy shit. Yeah. I, I don't know why you why you typing this out. You should have hit the button already, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like. Please well, I think, hurry I think, up before he takes that trade back. <laughs> I think maybe because um Almond Ra, uh, they're talking about James Win- uh James Winston, Jameis uh Jameson Williams. Williams taking over yeah. a little bit over there. The, the, some of the catches he made were very talented catches, but I, I don't think he's in I don't think he's in like that. 
just always... yeah, they're they're playing two different positions. Amon Rod's gonna be getting the stuff over the middle. He, yep. He's he's got he's got a role. Uh, Jameson Williams gonna take the top off the of defense. Yeah, so, and be the so guy you, on the outside. So, so I, I think they're gonna be fine together. So you you agree that like sometimes wide receivers play different positions? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, like Rice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I agree. Oh, all right. All right. Cool. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. We'll take it. Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. Let's pick this game. We've got the Chargers going to the Chiefs. Chiefs are five and a half point favorites. Tim, who you got? Mm. I'm going to go ahead and, and take the Chargers with the points. Okay. How? I'm really kind of. Uh, I was absolutely feeling the Chargers with the points until Tim said that. <laughs> oh. um, no, I, I mean it, it would really oh. help. Uh, hey. It would help my other beer losing losing because I'm running out of time. It's week seven, and I said yeah. before week eight. So like he has like a game and a half. Like it's uh, not looking good for me there, but. No, that five and a half, I, I like. Um, you know, that they're still right in the middle of the games. Uh, they have the most, you know, uh, it's like three-point losses in the last couple of years. They have eight, and everybody else has like six and seven uh, tops. Give me the Chargers in a close game. I absolutely agree with you, Kyle. Division game is going to be close. What? Yep. Give me wow. the Chargers. So everybody wow. drink up. It's not fair. Those drinking water. Hey. Mm. Mm. It's, not, it's not fair that, that y'all get to go do whatever you want to do after this. I, <laughs> hey, I, I'm gonna I, <laughs> I'm gonna say though, like like Kyle's whole speech had me like stepping back for a moment, you know. Like I was questioning my uh yeah, me choosing the Chargers right. for a second. So, oh, damn, I keep forgetting all my damn sounders. Damn it, y'all gonna listen to these sounders. The Chiefs, the Chargers. All right, do them all. Like, all the sounders. The Eagles, the Dolphins. What was that for? What? What? <laughs> what was that for? Like, what, what were you using that sounder for? Between the to two? introduce the games, yeah, like I'm about to do here. Oh, okay. Okay. Our next game, we have... The Jaguars. The Saints. Yeah. Isn't that nice? (laughs) Jacksonville going to New Orleans. (laughs) New Orleans is a one-point favorite. 42. It's down in the red zone. He should be a break... (laughs) He should break out of his mediocre streak of production during a pivotal stretch. In the fantasy season, the Jaguars are six easiest against quarterbacks, followed by Indianapolis. Who? Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, the Bears, and then the Vikings, who are mm-hmm. collectively third easiest. So, this is going to be a good stretch of games for Derek Carr. He can, he's coming off a 300 uh, 300 yard game. Kyle, can he repeat this performance? And add some touchdowns to his stats and and boost himself up to fantasy. I mean, it, it really kind of depends on if Pete Carmichael is still calling plays, which I think he is. <laughs> Man, uh, I just I, I don't know how he even got 300 yards, like with with Pete Carmichael and the way he's calling this game. Um, like it, it just it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, with the playmakers you have, the O-line is not playing, like, that bad to where you just cannot score points. There has to be some other reason, right? And and where else do you look? Like, you know, what like what plays are we calling? What's the down and distance? What are we doing? Like, I, I feel like we just need to take it back to square one and just really, like, kind of look at, like, what we're doing on offense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, he's got that stretch. Like this, this little stretch he's got right here. If he doesn't produce in these four games, then like we need to seriously take a look at Jameis or something, anything, because 
You can't you cannot do this. You can't score 13 points and expect to win games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you got to get into the end zone. Um we did see Olave um have a better game. He caught seven of his 10 targets for 96 yards last week. Uh did not get a touchdown. But we saw a lot of a lot of uh catches from Mike Thomas too. He's ranked wide receiver 37. Caught five of eight targets, 45 yards. Um I I love to see him get some red zone targets. Um but you know the Saints offense has to get better. Um what do you think about Elva Kamara and, and what you've seen from him so far? In the offense, um, I, I would, I would, I've been begging to see more Kamara out the backfield into uh, passing routes, and I haven't seen that very much. Well, I mean, you know, over the last three weeks, you see like 199 rush yards, 86 receiving yards, but those 86 receiving yards are on 23 catches, like. Oh my God! Can we get him something like in open space? Can we get him more down the field? Anything? Yeah. Like that just that that blows my mind that somebody can actually have twenty three catches right. for eighty six yards. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Is, everything is so close to the line of scrimmage or behind the line of scrimmage. That kind of thing. <laughs> it's it's maddening. Let's let's get out there in a pattern. So, because if you get him one on one with a linebacker, like that's that's gonna be your money right there. Yeah. So, all right, Tim, the Jacksonville side of things, Trevor yeah. Lawrence, mm. QB 14. Uh, the Jags, they're uh, listening to him as questionable, but um, he's practicing. He's going to play for sure. Um, so, you've you've uh, invested in Travis Etienne for sure. Yeah. He ran for 55 yards on 18 carries. Uh, Two touchdowns, caught all three of his targets, 28 yards. Um, he's really been one of those top running backs on the season here. Um, yeah. Do you feel like he can continue this run and without, you know, kind of splitting the backfield up a little bit? Because right now he, he's been the workhorse. Yeah, so far so good with ETN. And I appreciate that trade you've made with me for uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, I got those shade out there, especially if I got the bird dog candy cane on me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I do think Etienne's, Etienne's, it's it's his position locked up. And, and um, Lawrence, he might end, end up playing this week. So it looks like it. Um, but uh, Ridley's been looking pretty decent for at eight targets for 30 yards. Um, it's not really great. But, um, but uh, they, Doug Peterson offense over here, and and right. uh, they they the man won a Super Bowl with Eagles, and uh, with his backup quarterback, he he's a pretty good coach, and yeah. man, um, as much as I like the Saints and all that, um, uh, if 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 Trevor Lawrence plays, I'm I'm probably gonna go Jacksonville this week. Yeah, I got you. No, well, he's he's definitely gonna play, so uh, don't, don't have to worry. He's if he play. If you don't play, it's definitely all. <laughs> um, but I, I've I've still been impressed with the passing game. Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram, mm-hmm. um, those are the guys I was expecting to see um, a lot of production from. We're, we're starting to see that. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought we'd get a little bit more from Ingram. I thought he'd be on like the Kelsey level of you know, yeah, tight end two, tight end three, tight end four, that kind of thing. But he's still producing and. You know, look in, in a tight end barren world. Give me, give yeah. me some tight end that catch a ball. You know, <laughs> and one thing is like I, I feel like he catches all of his targets. Yeah, the more and more, like every week, in, week in and week out, any target that he gets, he catches. Like he, he, he had a crazy catch on the sideline last week too. Yeah, like the yeah. most he can absolutely get out of you know his his limited targets uh, since they have you know ETN. Ridley Kirk, like they have plenty of other playmakers. 
you don't really think about the tight end on a team like that. And he's really making like the most of everything. And I, I appreciate that. So he, he's a starter on my book for sure. hundred percent. I'm rolling with Ingram until he proves, you know, until he stops getting targets or whatever the reason uh, I'm rolling with Evan Ingram. I, I, I like what he's doing. Yep. All right, let's pick this game. Jacksonville's coming to New Orleans. New Orleans a one point favorite. Give me Jacksonville. Oh, Kyle, who you got? <laughs> oh, don't do it, Kyle. Don't don't make it, Kyle. Don't make it family. That, that what'd you say? It's a Saints podcast. Jacksonville. I said it. Yeah, Kyle, it. Jacksonville. I, Kyle, damn it! It's a Saints podcast, and you and Dale are Saints fans. All right, you can't I'll make it family. Game. Tim Damn right. in Jacksonville. Is that what you're saying? He picked <laughs> I picked Jacksonville. He picked Jacksonville. All right. I'm going the Saints, bro. I'm going the Saints. I right. said it before. I literally right. texted, um, I texted Craig earlier. I said, Craig, you know what? Don't stress. You know, it's gonna be one of those games. But guess what? Saints by three. Saints are gonna win by three, and that covers that one point. Okay. Saints yep. by three at home, even though that even though we don't play well at home, I, I just I hate that. I hate that we have that home field advantage, and our fans are just wild nuts, and the dome is rocking all the time. But we still don't play well at home. I hate that, but at the same time, uh, Jacksonville secondary, they're just they're, they're pretty mediocre. They're they're beat they're up not, too. You know, um, I'm beat thinking the that secondary. they're closed. Um, yeah. And at some point, you know, we're going to capitalize. We're going to make sure that we actually come up with some points. Groupie, you better make your damn field goals because we're going to need them this game. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, special teams needs to come up huge. Like, let, let's get a team win. Let's, let's you know, let's what not the- put it on the defense. Let's not put it on the offense. Let's put it on our whole team, you know. Um, give me the Saints. Saints by field goal. Oh man, dude! Look, what? Hey. that's right. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, thank you. I'm hot right now. Okay, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm up. I'm gonna switch it up because of that speech right now. All right, <laughs> thanks by I'm, three. I'm, I'm, Screw you, Dale. We didn't. We didn't like you anyway. You know, <laughs> I'm switching it up. All right, thank you, Kyle. Damn, man, I'm gonna get out of here and like do something other than work, like Dale. <laughs> Oh, I'm pouring another shot just for that. I, I don't care if it's. Oh no! Oh, did you did you tempt me? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't don't go without me, sir. This is number shot number four. All right, this got, is stupid. This is the I dumbest got, shit I've done in my life, right here. I'm 42. I'm doing four shots. I gotta I gotta work in the morning. Four shots and three beers. Mm-hmm. Um, things. Hey, all right, all right. Did your daughter bring you food or did she not? Come on now. She brought me food. She brought me some mac and cheese, some fire. This one is, cheese, is to the Saints and to Ivy. Uh, Thank you. All right. Ivy. Hey, you, you changed my mind. All right. That's God, right. All right. This, one, this one is to Ivy and to Raymond. All right. This is to Luce. <laughs> there you go. That's so oh, nice. That was that. <laughs> They're delicious. But at four shots, it's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. That's dumb. Mm, mm, if, mm. if if my job, if they like watch this tomorrow, they're gonna be like, "This dude, I, you know, don't let him call into work." <laughs> <laughs> my boss, be, boss. My boss would be so mad at me. <laughs> if you're out there, and uh, and Tim hadn't called in yet, and and he's no. still looking for him. <laughs> You know, <laughs> this, this is what happened. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta have the kid drop me off at work. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. He, he had four shots last yeah. night. So, there you go. There you go. I love All it, right. Kyle. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Good, good, good speech there, Kyle. We got to. Got to hire Kyle to get into the locker room. Maybe you can uh, will us to a win, bro. You're oh, you're on your way to making city council. I'm <laughs> hot right now. Okay, city city you, council. No, 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 no. You are. I don't know what Arkansas did this weekend, but Louisiana, mm-hmm. we were voting this weekend. All right. Mm-hmm. I got. Right. I, I literally. I have the sticker. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Uh-oh. Oh, the, the I voted sticker. <laughs> the I voted sticker. There you go. There we go. I voted Louisiana. Yeah. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. City council. I voted governor. I think it was uh, a couple mm-hmm. other things. I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. you know. All that local crap that don't matter. That's, so that's it- right. But, <laughs> but I voted red. I went, you know, all red on my ballot. So. Well, I do like I do like people voting. By the way, like we should all vote. You know, I, you gotta I don't get care me on my. You vote Democrat, you vote Republican, you vote Independent. Just vote. Like let's you know. Get, get out there and be out there. So. Yeah, get out there and be a part of your government, man. Because I got my opinion. Delga, he's got his own damn opinions. I don't have to like his opinions. But like, you know <laughs> what? You know what? We vote. We vote, and we make sure we vote. And right. uh, yeah, I voted Louisiana twenty twenty three. That's right. There you go. There you go. Right. Get out there, vote, guys. And Dell, Dell, tell you the same thing. That's the one thing we're going to agree on for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah def- definitely Thank vote. You. Voting is good. Make your opinion like matter. <laughs> Damn, love it. Right, beer bets, voting and beer bets. Okay, that's, they solve all the world's <laughs> problems right there. Oh yeah. All right. <clears throat> okay, that's going to wrap up the show for this week. This was probably our longest show ever. So. <laughs> All I drink the a foolishness, lot. yes. I drink All a this lot. foolishness. Four or five shots in. Screw you guys. <laughs> hey, hey, you don't 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 take my line here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So I would like to leave you guys with one last thought. I hate you guys so very, very much. That's right. And we out. Remember to follow us on social media at BSN Beer Media. Also, smash the like button on YouTube and share with friends. I'm a good